big homecoming last week in Scranton and today. Your guests obviously here tonight at the city. What emotions are you feeling knowing that your community and beyond are behind you? It's indescribable. I'm just blessed to be alive and very fortunate to be invited to this event tonight by Congressman Cartwright. So what does it mean to you and your family to be invited to be here? Tell me kind of about your day, what you've gone through. Uh, it means the world to us. We, we were we came down last night and today we went to the National Law Enforcement Museum and visited a... Uh, excuse me, sorry. We visited John Wilding's uh, name engraved on the wall for fallen police officers and, and we got ready to met, met up with the con congressman. Um, in the president's speech tonight, are you looking forward to him? Particular? Not exactly. No, just blessed to be here. Blessed yeah, just fortunate to be here and be alive. Yeah. So, why did you choose uh, to be a guest tonight? Tell me about the process and, and why this is here. This is Detective Kyle Gil Martin, and he and his wife Lindsay represent the best of us in northeastern Pennsylvania. Not only the fact that he's serving to protect us in our communities from from any kind of mayhem or violence but what he went through when he got shot two rounds in the head he's been recovering beautifully working so hard in therapy and the other thing I brag about is the way our community has formed up behind him having fundraisers and uh, gathering together and visiting and praying for the Gil Martins. Uh, it's it's a, a thing to be proud of in northeastern Pennsylvania, the way we come together and support people like Kyle. I want to ask you about that, the community support. Um, I know you said that it's meant a lot to you. Can you go into a little bit more for us? Yeah, so we, we've had to do nothing with the community support and the support from the uh, Fraternal Order of Police, the state, and, and my local lodge, uh, E.B. German Lodge too. They've done everything for us, um, feeding us, uh, making sure we're financially stable, housing my wife down in Philadelphia while I was in rehab for two months. Um, they've just done more than I could ever ask for. Where are you currently in the um, Right now I'm doing outpatient back in Scranton and uh, I'm progressing very rapidly according to the, uh, the doctors. and. I have surgery coming back up in uh, April to get my skull replaced because it, a third of it was removed the night I was shot and uh, after that things are supposed to get uh, a little easier for me. Great. Um, I would just like to ask you about the speech tonight if you don't mind. Is there anything in particular that you are hoping that President Biden addresses? One thing I want to mention is that uh, Detective Gil Martin referred to John Wilding, who uh, you wouldn't know. It is a uh, a police officer, a patrolman in Scranton, uh, who was killed in the line of duty, uh, and that's why his name is on the wall at the memorial. Um, but uh, uh, tonight, I expect uh, Joe Biden to be himself. Uh, you know, he's. Um, I'd like to see him go off script. You know, the, the people that work in the White House, I don't care if they're Democratic or Republican, they are surrounded by people that want to handle them and manage them and tell them what to say and how to say it. I, I'd like the, the president to go off strip, script and be himself uh, because, uh, and I think he will. I think that, uh, you know, uh, there are some combative people in the House that, that may try to provoke him. Um, and that's okay because uh, this president can handle himself and he's going to be able to show that tonight. People need to know that. Is there anything else either of you would like to add about well, we had uh, we had a wonderful dinner tonight, and I'm proud to tell you that uh, Detective Gil Martin walked all the way here, about a half a mile from the restaurant. We weren't sure I I wasn't sure he was going to be able to do it, but uh, he's really moving along in his therapy. It's wonderful. Well, thank you very much, both of you. I appreciate your time. Happy to see you recovering. Thank you. So, uh, appreciate that.